Hello YouTube and welcome to my Thursday edition of my comic book review. Each Thursday, sorry, each Wednesday I pick up my new books from my local comic shop. I read them and then I pick one to do a review on on Thursdays. So this week I'm really excited because I chose an awesome book. Last week was cool. I liked uh, Girl Scouts Magic Socks. It was all right. I gave it like a you know mid range like 2.5 type of uh, review. <clears throat> this book this week though I was really blown away by, it, especially because number one, I went into it completely blind. Uh, I didn't know anything about the book. I just was like, hey, it's got a cool cover. Um, it looks interesting. Let me pick it up and see what that's about. And that's what I love about comic books. I like being able to pick up something based on like the name and the artwork and then just be blown away by it. I don't want to have to be like, oh, I know everything about Wonder Woman and that's why I'm going to pick up this book. Or I've read 500 issues of Spider-Man, so I know the continuity and I'm going to read that. I like going into a shop and being like, that looks cool right there. I'm going to buy that and read it and then getting blown away by it. Or even being disappointed is fine too, but it's that's what comics are about to me. So anyways, this week I picked up Rapture, number one, a Valiant book by Matt Kint. I don't know how to say that name. And the artist is that, C-A-F-U, don't know who that is. Don't care, because the art is amazing in this book, the cover is amazing. It's a really nice cover. So just to start off with that cover there, the cover alone, a good 4.0 for me. So the story kind of follows, like it, it drops you right in. There's this little girl named Tama. I believe her name's Tama. I believe that's how you say it. It's T-A-M-A. -A. Um, I have a nice Tama snare that I play on my drums. They're a pretty good company. I use a pearl kit. Either way, uh, she's like the last geromancer in a in a long line of geromancers, gyromancers. I, I don't know how you say that either. I don't know how to say anything, as you know. Um, so, anyways, she's like prophesized like this big battle that's going to take place uh, between like the dead side and heaven. Uh, there's like a character named Babel that like I guess represents the Tower of Babel that wants to pierce heaven and she's got to get together this team of heroes to stop that and it's just a really interesting story it's almost like it's not anything like Lord of the Rings but it's like that kind of epic adventure like even in the very first issue like there's like there's a good amount of setup but it just drops you straight into it's not lagging there's not like a lot of like that weird build that you get like with a team set up where you've got to go you know through meeting each team member and understanding like their strengths and, and and who they are and their characteristics and stuff like that like this just drops you in as to like what the girl is doing she's got this book she's going through like you know basically like what's a good analogy like where you have to answer a riddle like from a troll at a bridge to pass or something like it's, it's sort of like that I mean that's an analogy that doesn't happen but those types of things and she's got this awesome little sidekick with her whose name is Tad and it's like uh, T period A period D period D period uh, and he's just like this cool weird little squishy guy um, who, like, his word balloons are like Gleep, Glorp, Glarp, and stuff like that. And he's just really interesting. He can kind of morph into whatever he needs to to get through the, uh, you know, to the next step or whatever. Um, but the girl is just, like, really adorable, but very intelligent and very driven. Like, she's got a mission, and she's going to execute that mission, and, and she knows exactly what to do. But she's like a little girl, and it's really cool. And... You know, she's got to go f check out this big monster guy, and I don't know, it's cool. Either way, 
my review has to do with it, you know, it's a Valiant book. Everybody's read a few Valiant books at least if you're not a Valiant reader, you know, like a couple of Exo Man of War, uh, Harbinger, um, Ninjak, uh, I can't remember the guy's name because he's got like an alias in here which is Mag, oh, Shadow Man, okay. So Shadow Man, um, Punk Mambo's in here, which I don't know anything about that character. But basically, you know, Valiant kind of has like its uh, thing around it. You know, people are like really pretty big into Valiant or you don't know much about Valiant. I don't know much about Valiant. Um, again, I picked this book up because of the cover and it just looked amazing. Um, but to break into that Valiant continuity without knowing much about it, you know, it seems a little intimidating. This book is not intimidating at all. You can read this, whether you know anything about any of the characters of the Valiant universe, with absolutely no problem. You can jump straight into this. There's no real backstory going on here other than what it needs you to know and it tells you in the book itself. And as I said before, there's no real big setup of the characters and the team that, you know, is being assembled. So I'll just leave it at that because I don't want to, you know, give away any more about the story uh, in a review. It's not like a spoiler review or anything. This is just a very good book. I was very surprised by it. So I'm going to say 4.5 out of 5. So thanks a lot. Uh, I look forward to next Wednesday picking up my books and sharing them with you guys as I have been. And... Next Thursday, I'll post another review of the one that I decide to review. Thanks a lot. Please subscribe. Please give me a like. And please uh, comment. I love that I'm getting comments and subscribers and, and thumbs up and stuff like that. I, I really appreciate that. I'm really happy that you guys are enjoying my uh, hauls and reviews. Uh, please continue to do so so I can know what to do better or what you guys like. Uh, let's have discussions on the comments. I love doing that. I love talking to you guys. Um, and let me know what you guys thought about Rapture, if you read it. Let me know if this review kickstarted you to go out and pick up a copy of Rapture and what you thought about it. If you think I'm completely mental and you really hated it, or if you agree with me, or if it was more of like a midline book to you, like I'd like to know what you guys thought of it too. So please let me know in the comments. Thanks. Bye.